Hey everybody, my name is Ashley Rush and I'm an independent creative memories advisor located in North Carolina. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about digital artwork and creative memories. In a previous video, I shared with you how to purchase, download, and use CM digital artwork without using a professional scrapbooking software. We just imported it into your favorite word processing program. Today, I'm going to show you how to use my favorite digital scrapbooking software, Artisan by Forever, and your favorite Creative Memories digital artwork. Let's get started. To begin, you have to know where to find the Creative Memories digital artwork. Up here on the home ribbon, we've got Creative Digital Photo Albums, and we have digital artwork. If you click on that, It'll show you all of the digital artwork we currently have available. Pretty much everything that CM offers as a paper collection, they will also offer as a digital collection. This can make um, hybrid scrapbooking super easy. All you have to do to purchase these is add them to the cart, check out, and you're done. Once you've purchased your favorite artwork, what do you do next? So you need to find where the artwork is stored in your account. If you scroll to the top of the page and you're signed in, you click on your name, then my account. <clears throat> this will bring up your profile. On the left hand side, you can go to my downloadable products. This will show you all of your digital downloads that you've purchased within about the last two years. You are only able to download these um, for two years. So make sure that once you download them, you back them up into a safe place in case of a computer crash. When you're ready to import them into your program, go ahead and just click this link here. For me, it pulls up a pop-up box at the bottom, depending upon how your internet um, provider is set up. Once you can see it's fully downloaded, then it's time to unzip your download. I go to my file explorer, which is down here on my, um, my base bar, and I'm going to navigate to the download section. From here, you can see I've chosen the CM United We Stand kit. I've actually downloaded it twice because I wanted to show you how easy it was to download. But I'm gonna go with the original right here. I'm going to click enter until it opens. And then up on this top bar here, I'm going to navigate over to where it says extract all because currently it's zipped up and compressed. I would like for them to show me a pop-up box with the new file content. Um, so you wanna click this box. If you're, there's no need to navigate to it afterwards, then you don't need to click it. So I'm just going to hit extract. You'll get a progress bar showing you how quickly it works. Depending upon the speed of your computer will depend upon how fast this bar moves. As you can see, it's already done. Now for the slightly tricky part, but don't worry, I'll make it easy. Now we're going to import our new unzipped Creative Memories digital artwork into my favorite scrapbooking software, Artisan by Forever. First, I'm gonna to click to open Artisan. Sometimes it can take a little while to load, especially if it's the first time you've used it that day. From the top home ribbon, I'm going to go to manage content. Once that window has opened, I'm actually going to go to create art kit. When you're creating a kit, you have a choice. You can either choose commercial art kits or personal art kits. Those are different file folders in your content library. I often forget that my personal art kits folder even exists. So I put everything into my commercial art kits. Now it's time to name it. 
So I like to make sure that I can easily find all of my creative memories, digital artwork. So I start by naming it CM, with a little dash, and then follow up with whatever the name was, which in this case was United We Stand. So CM, United We Stand. Okay. Now you've opened a new and empty folder. Here's where you can add paper, embellishments, shapes, edges, corners, and colors. As far as creative memory the art kits goes, you'll mostly be dealing with just paper and embellishments. So with the paper tab selected down here, I'm going to go up here to the content ribbon and select paper. This means I'm adding paper to my paper tab. Here, I'm going to navigate to my download folder again. And I'm going to select the folder that has already been unzipped. It might take a couple of clicks, but you'll come to when you buy the full kit, everything will be together. You'll have your 12 by 12 paper pack, United We Stand, and our elements, United We Stand. This 12 by 12 PP, those are our papers. So I'm gonna select that. And then I'm simply going to select all by clicking the first image, scrolling down to the bottom, holding shift and clicking the last image. And then I'm going to say open. This will import all of those papers from that file into your new art kit. Easy peasy. Next, we're gonna to go to embellishments. We're gonna choose the embellishment tab here. And also go up here to the content tab and choose embellishments again. When I open that up, it's automatically reverts to the last file I used. So I'm just gonna arrow back once and then choose the elements united we stand. You'll generally have a lot more elements than you will papers. I'm gonna use the same, um, click the first, scroll all the way down to the last, hold shift and click again. Once I click open, it'll start in importing all of those embellishments. One question I get asked a lot is when the collection um, includes mats, do you use mats as an embellishment or a paper? It's really up to you and what you're comfortable with and how your brain works. I generally put them as embellishments. Once you're all done, you come over to the right hand side and you see the little disc here and we're just going to click save. It's now done and I can X out and we can check our content library to make sure that it came in. Again, commercial art kits. I'm just going to scroll down to those CMs. All of my creative memory stuff is stored together, which I love. And here we are, united we stand. That's how easy it is to import creative memories, digital art into Forever Artisan. I hope you guys found this useful. If you're interested in any of the products you see in this video, including learning more about Forever Artisan, um, please check the links in the description or talk to your own ambassador or advisor. I want to give you guys a quick shout out because of all of you. I have finally reached 100 subscribers. Woo! Um, and because of that, I will be able to um, personalize my URL with YouTube soon. So look for that coming out as soon as YouTube uh, gives me the thumbs up, it will be done. Um, until then, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Make sure you guys like and subscribe so that you're able to get all of my video updates. I'll see you next week. Bye.